Hi everyone, welcome to our Cisco ASA policy-based routing service graph uh, demo in uh, ACI Fabric. My name is Goran and I come to you from Cisco Security Technical Marketing Team. To set up our discussion, I am going to go over an ASA device package. Since release of ACI Fabric, we have released a device package or ASA that allowed APIC to configure all of these items that you see here in the left uh, blue square uh, includes all of the network interaction items uh, including dynamic routing and policy like access list inspections AS uh, high availability as well as special features like dynamic EPG we also allow redirection to embedded firepower services in ASA appliances Recently, we had added another option for device package, which is called Fabric Insertion. And this reduces the number of features that APIC can update to simply network interaction related items like interfaces, IPs, and static and dynamic routing. Uh, the rest of the configuration is allowed um, to be configured from out of band uh, by our customers using either uh, CLI, uh, REST APIs for ASA, Cisco Security Manager, or our cloud based solution with CDO. This simply shows you the path on Cisco.com to arrive at uh, downloading these two types of device packages and in this video demo we're going to be using this type of tenant and PBR service graph allows you to use two different bridge domains but this is a more interesting use case where we can actually uh, use the same bridge domain and EPGs in those web and app that you see here and allow redirection uh, into a security appliance from traffic between these two EPGs these EPGs can share the same DHCP pool um, and be grouped in uh, these different uh, segments here. The PBR service graph also allows us to define contract subjects that we want to apply the service graph to, uh, such as HTTP, um, and also define other subjects that don't redirect to security appliance and go line rate between each other such as a uh, um, secure copy right uh, with SSH in between these two which goes simply through the ACI leaves. On ASA to enable this kind of uh, insertion here we create a separate PBR bridge domain and the two IPs for ASA and ACI fabric to communicate over this feature um, requires that ASA enables same security intra interface functionality. Um, that feature allows traffic to come in and out the same interface as required by PBR service graph in this deployment. We can leverage this deployment in unmanaged uh, ASA mode as well as managed with the device package. For enabling uh, you to kind of uh, get a better handle on this use case I have created a number of Python scripts to build a tenant with this ASA uh, in place and the PBR service graph and posted those scripts on github uh, Cisco security link that you see here I will show you how these scripts work in this demo So when we get into our APIC uh, tenant uh, called pod2 here, I have my application profile with two EPGs, uh, app EPGs in web bridge domain as I indicated, uh, also web EPGs in the same bridge domain. They're on the same subnet and here's the contract that governs their communication here. And what you can see here is that ASA PBR graph is attached or apply to this contract and I have multiple subjects down below so I have created uh, filters uh, for those subjects and I'll explain that communication as well 
If we go down the line and explain all of the items necessary here, we do have our web uh, bridge domain. And here we do have an SVI that uh, EPGs can direct their traffic in, as in we showed you. Uh, that's an SVI for that uh, web bridge domain. Going down further, we do have one VRF in place, and under protocol policies, there's this setting for layer 427 policy based redirect where we indicate the IP of ASA and its MAC address. This MAC address is set up also in the function profile so that we can match the two in the same configuration instead of using whatever the NIC on the ASA um, has assigned. Moving on to our security policy, we do have our contract in place from web to app and here the first subject includes ICMP and HTTP protocols directed for uh, security inspection to ASA. Uh, we do separate our ARP communication not to be redirected as well as uh, SSH as we uh, described in our uh, diagram. In layer 4 through 7 policies we have our service graph defined with route redirect enabled. Uh, function profile here for ASA includes our access lists and we have a single interface with that ACL applied in access group. Interface information includes our IP address and the MAC that we showed you earlier and we also require a route from ASA back to the ACI fabric to be enabled here and that is the IP address uh, that we use inside uh, the fabric itself. If we go and look at that 10302 in our bridge domain PBRBD, we will find that address here under the layer 3 configurations as you see. Um, moving to our ASA layer 4 through 7 device this is a context on ASA 5525 set up in failover so we have two IP addresses and we use a single gig 04 interface on each appliance uh, and you can see that the two are plugged into the LEAF 2 Ethernet 125 and 129 then in the cluster IP this is a context administrators context IP where APIC is gonna log in through to get to the system context and define some interfaces off of that gig 04 and assign them to the uh, contexts uh, that actually have this uh, 10.82 so it's a single context active that gets that assignment of the data interface consumer and provider interfaces indicated there our selection policy is also very important in PBR service graph as it uses the consumer interface this is a consumer connector and uses that uh, PBR bridge domain as well as the redirect and the same information you'll find under the provider um, there that same consumer interface is used for with same information there. One item that uh, we should note here is the same security configuration is actually set under um, a layer 427 device and here you can see that under parameters here same security traffic intra interface is actually permitted so with that we can go to our demo now what I have here is our web and application uh, endpoints um, and I have my login into an ASA uh, context here if I look at the IP information in the context, I see the management IP used for communication to APIC and my data plane uh, IP 10301 on the external interface and 704 VLAN. Um, looking back at our EPGs here in the operational tab, I do have my uh, endpoints captured there and their in caps and attachment to the fabric. So that was app and this is my web um, device. 
Uh, under deploy devices, I can match that VLAN 704 to the ASA device that we have here in place. So now we're ready to look at our communication. So as we indicated here, um, my ping to my app device here uh, does go through ASA. And you can see that ICMP connection. Uh, also my HTTP connection um, does attempt and come through the ASA. The app server doesn't have a web server so it's actually refusing the connection but we can see that syslog on um, ASA and now if I actually try to open an SSH connection to between web and app I can see that it's open but there is no indication of syslog so this connection is actually not coming through um, the ASA itself. If I look at show connections I don't see that in there. So with PBR Service Graph we can pick and choose protocols we want to inspect by the security appliance and which ones go straight through the ACI fabric at line rate speeds. Now to show you a couple of items here also if I actually go back and I remove that service graph from um, you know, in the security policy, I have this first subject where my ICMP and HTTP are sent to ASA. If I remove it, uh, that configuration will be wiped on my ASA context here. As you see, APIC had done that, cleared the access list and all the information. I don't see my data interface anymore, only management. There is no access list. And at this point, even those protocols that were inspected previously will now still be successful. I can still ping my uh, web to app, uh, you know, ping from my devices there, but that traffic is allowed but not inspected by ASA. If I do enable the service graph again, now I see that information on my uh, I see the data interface in place. If I do show ARP, I'm not seeing the ACI interface that I'm connected to yet. And as soon as that gets reestablished, I can see that my connectivity of the protocols inspected by ASA is actually resumed. Uh, attempting to WGET as well shows up on ASA. So that was the simple demo I wanted to show you. And at this point, um, we're going to run the scripts that I put on GitHub here and rebuild this whole environment. Um, it is done by running this uh, bash wrapper around all of the uh, Python scripting here that you see in place and um, I will simply start by deleting uh, this pod to tenant and then allow scripts to fully rebuild it. So first step is to actually build the application profile um, in pod 2 here. So I can see that my application profile has been built um, and we'll go through all of those steps. Uh, there's a PBR bridge domain, there's a PBR protocol redirect, I will register my ASA, so if we open up um, these folders for my device, I just registered my device, I want to make sure that it's actually uh, in a stable state, a APIC had logged into it, and I'll proceed to build my function profile, my service graph, and now my script is going to leverage this uh, wizard this magic green ball to apply that service graph. Um, so we'll create a contract uh, and apply that service graph and I'll add uh, just ARP subject here and update my uh, selection policy because the wizard cannot apply same consumer interfaces um, to both of these terminals here. So here there's no information about bridge domain, the redirect, so I can actually update it through the script 
and put the PBR bridge domain and the redirect in place. So now with this script, I basically have um, the same setup that we were uh, going over. You can actually go and modify and add additional subjects, change the protocols, and actually uh, get to uh, adapt that contract to your liking. So my ping, I'm going to look uh, to start working again. There it is, it's working again. My ARP shows the ACI, IP is actually uh, discovered and I still have my same IP addresses here. If I do show connections, I see my ICMP connection. Um, and if I attempt uh, my WGET here, I will see it come to an ASA device as well via syslog. So that is uh, the demo that I wanted to show you of the PBR service graph. I hope you enjoyed it. And you find the provided scripts on GitHub useful in your automation. Thank you for your time.